You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome to another Black Series review. We're getting more episode one. Goodness, we've felt the Stap and Battle Droid 25th anniversary, The Phantom Menace. Yeah, this came out really quick, um, <laughs> which is fantastic. Um, and yes, extremely excited that we were able to get these in at KesselRunHair.com. Um, yeah, really, really thrilled to, you know, to have access to an exclusive like this. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, like the Darth Maul I reviewed just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, yeah, the packaging is unreal. It really just tickles the 1999 uh, itch. <laughs> the part of me inside that wish it was still the 90s, early 2000s. But um, yeah, this is fantastic. Really, really love the packaging. I hope, I hope going forward to next year for the 20th anniversary of Revenge of the Sith, I hope we're going to get some similar treatment. Um, but we'll see. Time will tell. But yeah, very sort of retro sort of style, which is sad. It's it is twenty five years ago, but it's it's sad to call Star Wars Episode One retro now. <laughs> or vintage. It's not quite vintage, but you know. But yeah, the packaging is fantastic. Love the old school sort of labels, the gold gold logo, Darth Maul, and yeah, just a beautiful display in the packaging. Besides this and uh, the Darth Maul set, I don't know. What else do what do you think could have been uh, released in this side packaging for the Black Series? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, let's bust this open. Take a look. And here he is. What a what an awesome little set this is. Really, really cool. Um, you know what? You know what's almost sad. I don't have a three and three quarter inch step. No, you're right. It's, uh, it's it's terrible. I should have one by now. It is going to be a goal of my, you know, very close future that I uh, I fix that and get one. Because, yeah, it should absolutely have one in my collection. I do remember when I was a kid, my uh, best friend at the time, he had one. So we always had a stat to play with. It was, he had a Qui-Gon Jinn, I had an Obi-Wan Kenobi, I had Darth Maul. Um, you know, we all had different action figures, so, you know, when it comes to playing with Star Wars toys, we all had, uh, we both had, you know, the, we both had the figures to play with, so that was no big deal, but yeah, I should know better, being 36 years old now, um, yeah, I should have one. Uh, accessory-wise, comes with the blaster, which is, uh, you know, it's pretty standard battle droid blaster, nicely painted. It's got that sort of metallic sort of look to it, which is great. And so the sort of the bit that sort of plugs into the uh, backpack there. So that's cool. And yeah, while we're at it, the backpack just comes with the uh, antenna. Now I love the uh, the little eleven thirty eight. So in the film, one of the droids on the battlefield, um, just as the control ship goes down. And there's one sort of facing away from the camera. I think it's around when Jar Jar starts noticing that they're all just, he goes, they're all broken. Um, there's one battle droid with the little 1138, obviously being a nod to George Lucas's first film, THX 1138. But uh, yeah, we're probably not going to go into the battle droid too much. We know this is a great figure. I oh, will we'll leave a link at the end of the video to the battle droid. It's just the standard release, but we'll take a look at him um, and see how he goes. So that's cool. He also comes with this alternate, you know, for your, if you don't want the backpack, you can just have the standard uh, aerial. I like the backpack. I don't know why. I just like it okay. But for the, for the purpose of accuracy, I will actually look up and see whether the stap drivers do have the backpack and they do I just looked at the box <laughs> it was right next to me I didn't have to do any research so yeah the stat comes on a stand comes in these two parts I'm gonna see if that will pop out and that will so that's cool so it comes on this sort of clear stand um, you just have to pop that 
ball into the socket. And it's a nice tight fit too, so that's good. You don't have to worry too much. So I'm going to put that aside, and we'll take a look at the step as it stands. So you've got the two sort of thrusters at the top there. The pedals. Well, I've actually, the battle droid that came with it is actually like strapped on. So I'm actually going to leave him on there like that. I just don't feel like taking him off right this minute. And uh, yeah, trying to pose him back up to get him back on there. I think he's sitting quite well. As well, the hands are also, um, you know, strapped onto the uh, handlebars, which is cool. So you can go in anywhere. And I wasn't going to take him off of it anyway, so it works well. Uh, the sort of the missile turrets on the front, they're a bit of a softer plastic, but that's probably to avoid kids poking their eyes out and stuff. Um, but the rest of it's pretty damn good. We've got a little bit of a up and down rocking mechanism there. Okay, that sort of breaks apart. Have to work out how that goes. Pops back on there. There we go. I think I've got it. I'll have to double check that afterwards. Make sure I've got it on. Yes, I do. You get a little bit of little bit of movement in the top there, but I think for the most part it's it's pretty static, which is fine. Um, doesn't look like it folds up anywhere else. Okay, it does. It's much like the battle droid's head. You can sort of move it up. I don't think it's meant to, just because it's got that there, but um, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna have some fun playing with this. My first ever stap in 25 years. Don't worry, I will, I will fix that. You can see the sculpt of the little motor mechanics underneath the top there. That looks cool. A little, little bit more detail in there would be cool, but that's okay. And sort of the weathering on the top. Sort of where the money is, really. You know, that's what you're going to see more of on the shelf. So those weathering details, carbon scoring, as they call it. And like the sort of the weathering at the end, the sort of flash of the nozzle at the end of the nozzle. <laughs> um, yeah, sort of worn with the heat. So that's cool. We've got some sort of nicks and, nicks and dents and stuff on the front of it. And I've said in my live streams talking about this that I can't not see. This is like Dory, like two eyes, little mouth. <laughs> I can't unsee. It's like, hey. anyway, if I have to see it, you have to see it too. But yeah, the droid looks good. He's got some sort of weathering and, and, and sort of detail on it as well, which is nice. You can sort of see like a patchy sort of brown wash over, over parts of him. Some silver bits on the chest there. Just some worn little bits of detail, which is nice. And on the head there. Let's see, that's just sort of... Yeah, he's been out in the field of battle. It goes well with the, uh, the backpack there. Sort of seeing how the handlebars, whether they do move. They look like they do. So maybe I will take this off at some point. But yeah, I just yeah, I wanted to do a little bit of a video and talk about this thing just because it's it's a really cool set. Um yeah, with a couple of speeders now in the Phantom Menace, it's starting to take up take up a little bit of room. The Phantom Menace shelf has certainly spread a, a little bit in the last couple of years. We've still got Darth Maul on the way. Um you know, two, two droidekas on my shelf now. Um, yeah, hopefully we get some more Phantom Menace characters. But uh, yeah, already feel like the the, shit fa the focus is shifting. We feel like it's it's on the way. We're going to start moving into Revenge of the Sith territory in 2025. Which is just terrifying, really, that that's, 
that's nearly a 20 year old movie it's just uh already feel old but there we have the stap ladies and gentlemen pretty damn cool and uh yeah i'll be heading to ebay <laughs> to uh pick up a three and three quarter inch version they shouldn't be too much I'm just sort of seeing how this thing balances out. Yeah, no, it needs to be straight up. So yeah, that's that's cool. So there you have it. Battle Droid and Stap. Or the Stap and Battle Droid. Oh my god, Stap. Picking this one up, folks, let me know. What do you think? If you've got it, I think it looks pretty damn cool. This sort of scale vehicle is perfect for Black Series. Don't need anything bigger than that. The occasional speed is cool. But yeah, I don't think we need necessarily anything much bigger than this in the Black Series line. It's about characters. So yeah, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you checking out my stuff. Be back with some more very soon. Till then, may the Force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.